Since it's, I see a lot of guys doing it, and it seems quite popular. Um, what I'm doing is um, a plastic dip. I already did this wheel. The uh, center, the center parts, the spokes of the wheel. I believe the uh, lip polished, and the cap uh, chromed or polished. Uh, anyhow, I'll walk around and uh, I'll show you uh, what the wheels looked like before. Uh, <clears throat> There you go. That's what they used to look like. They're cool, but um, I don't know. I just, I always kind of wanted to do the wheels black in the center, but I didn't want to paint it or do anything that's real permanent because uh, I was afraid if I did it, then I didn't like it. You know, it's it's a pain in the ass to strip them back down, especially a wheel with all the you know little corners and getting it out of everything, get the paint out, and, you know, polish it back up. So I uh, thought about it, and I seen a lot of people doing the plastic dip on their cars and. Uh, wheels and grills and emblems and whatnot and I hadn't really uh, had much experience with it so I figured what the hell I'll try it that way if uh, I don't like it or you know it's not the not what I imagined it was going to look like I could just peel it right off uh, well maybe not right off but uh, it's a lot easier to take that off than uh, to remove it if I had painted those centers so uh, I already finished the, the um, driver's side I'm about to take these wheels off right now and I'm going to lay them out and spray them and uh, I'll film it as I'm spraying it so uh, you can see how it's done um, fairly simple it's kind of just like you know I got the, it in uh, just pop cans uh, I'm not doing a little spray gun or anything but uh, yeah, it seems pretty cool uh, you know, neat little project and I, I think I do like it uh, my problem now is now these rear drums really stick out you know I can't stand those drums so I wish uh wish I had rear discs but uh, I am working on um getting uh, some parts together to do a rear disc brake conversion on this truck uh the truck I'm speaking of is a uh, you know Chevy Stepside uh they made these from I think it was 88 through 1998 released this body the uh the boxy you know square uh it's kind of actually becoming kind of a classic truck because uh I'm, really popular and there's a ton of aftermarket for them so this one's hopped up a little bit uh, you know even though it is a shop truck it actually started out as a uh, 800 hour junker and uh, it slowly turned into this uh, did the satin paint shaved the door handle shaved the antenna shaved the tailgate uh, put the tonneau cover on it lowered it I think I'm gonna do an axle flip eventually because it's still too much tighter gap for me uh, I just don't want to lower it too much to where if I had to throw you know, a couple motors in it or something it's gonna bottom out and have issues so uh, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do exactly yet uh, it does have an engine swap unfortunately I don't have enough light on this side of the shop right now I got too many cars blocking so I can't roll over the, uh, the lights but uh, it has a ramjet 350 uh, GM performance crate engine in it um, Headers, uh, it's got a custom uh, dual exhaust, uh, not sorry, not dual exhaust, custom exhaust that uh, dumps out the side here. It's a three inch pipe into a, uh, see it right there. And uh, I'm gonna make a little little shield for it too, I think, rivet it in there. But uh, I figured out how I'm gonna rivet because it's fiberglass and it's kind of a pain in the ass to do it. So I don't know if I'm gonna do some kind of little fastener, maybe a little trick screw. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip it through and then maybe put a piece of uh, metal on the back end of it so it'll grab. Um, anyhow, I'm, gonna, I'm going off subject here, but uh, uh, I'm gonna get these wheels off and uh, get the filming, uh, the uh, plastic dipping the uh, <clears throat> the wheels, and then I'll do a shot when it's done. All right, guys, give me a second. All right, hope you guys can see that. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right, got the wheel off. Got it on my little makeshift stand here. Just a couple of milk crates. Anyhow, 
First thing I want to do is just gonna blow it off real good. Then I'm uh, got to take that center cap off. So I gotta get the uh, get the little Allen wrench for that guy. Pop that off. And that's it. Put those inside it. Set that aside. And I'm gonna hit it real quick and brake clean. Okay, we'll just sit up for a second, we'll start to evaporate. And then uh yeah. blow it off a little more. If you don't have any brake clean, you can always just use a towel or a rag and a clean rag or paper towel or shop towel, whatever you have, uh, and just use a rubbing alcohol will work too to help clean it. But uh, if your wheels are real dirty, obviously you'd want to wash them. But these were fairly clean; they're just dusty from sitting around the shop. So, and I just want to make sure if there was any grease or anything or contaminants that might affect the uh, plastic zip from uh, adhering correctly. Uh, I'm probably gonna wipe it down with a rag once I get done anyways in case I get any of my my grease on my fingers on there or anything uh, anyhow okay um, next step I'm gonna have to mask it now this is uh these wheels are gonna be kind of are kind of difficult because you got to get right inside there that, that lip so uh, that takes a little bit of patience and uh, practice if you're not really good at masking I've done body and paint work for probably over 20 years now so uh, I'm pretty good at masking uh, even these are kind of a, a little bit of a pain in the ass to get in there but uh, we'll get that started stores now carry it. Uh, you can buy it at Home Depot, Walmart, Lowe's. It's it all over the place. Originally it used to be used to um, coat your tool, like your tool handles. But uh, somebody discovered that you can coat pretty much anything with it, and, uh, including your, your car. So first coat, I'm just going to put on a kind of light. So this is an open can, so I'm just going to finish this can off. I didn't wipe it down again. I, I didn't touch the wheels too much, so it should be fine. I, I break cleaned it pretty good. These wheels are just really dusty, not really uh, dirty from driving or anything. I washed it, well, I washed it a while back and uh, it's been sitting inside the shop and uh, I said it 
kind of tranny out to be rebuilt. And doing some other things to it while it's in, uh, out of commission for a while. coat here. I checked it over pretty good with the uh, flashlight and it looks like the uh, coverage is, is really good so uh, I'm happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and kind of just do one good coat over everything. Make sure uh, try to get it smooth. It's kind of hard with this stuff because it does kind of at least out of aerosol can. Yeah. It's, just, it's fine for like small parts or things like this, but yeah, I wouldn't have to do a whole car there or something. It was going to be striped and coverage isn't going to be uh, even as far as how many mil. You know, you know, thicknesses of the material, and uh, you know, you kind of want to get all really want even coverage. All right, that looks good. I'm happy with it. So. Hey, Toby, say what's up to everybody. <laughs> all right, that's the wheel I did in the video. And I just finished the front wheel and that's the end of the project. They're all done. They look great. I'm very happy with the uh, final finish. Much better looking than, than the uh, whole wheel being polished. Go back around here to the other side. And, uh, yeah, wheels look cool. I'm digging it. Uh, if I have any issues with the, the plastic dip, like not sticking or adhesion issues or it just fades and doesn't look good um, I will just peel it off and paint them with, uh, you know, the old traditional way but uh, so far so good looks good we'll see how long it lasts but that's gonna be the end of this video uh, thanks for watching I said earlier uh, if you like it thumbs up comment any questions I will do my best to answer and uh, that'll be it all right take it easy guys catch you in the next one Thank you.